It's a bike that will take you anywhere in the world, and it's getting its U.S. debut right here in the Tri-State. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now to tell us all about it. Liz. Hey, Paula, good evening. For the first time, the Bike Around, as it's called, is in the U.S. at the Kenwood by Senior Star, which is an independent living facility here. As I found out, along with photojournalist James Harrison, it may leave a lasting memory. Should I be standing on my no. hands or feet? Or? You're good. Chick Hyde is a veteran of World War II who served in the U.S. Navy. Sometimes he remembers where he's been. Where were you during the war? All over the Pacific. Sometimes, his wife Sally says, he does not due to memory loss. It's been probably 10 to 12 years since he was first diagnosed. So now, with the help of a bike around, Chick's getting what you might say is a ride back in time. It allows um, residents to sit and ride a bike pretty much anywhere in the world that uh, Google Earth has been to and taken pictures of. All Chick has to do is get a little help programming in the place. All right, we'll go for a ride. Okay, sure. All right, here, grab your handlebars here. And his feet can take flight. Backseat drivers and all. You want to follow that yellow line if you can. As for what he remembers along the way, you know, memories are funny because it might be this, a smell or a sound that, that brings you back in time. So what's really interesting to see is that this may be jogging his memory a bit, but it's also clearly giving him other benefits. Maybe just some exercise, which can improve everything from better balance to easing agitation. All things really important for all of us as we age. The hope is that with a ride down memory lane... It's just not cognitive issues that can be um, uh, helped with this. Which may be true, because you know what they say about remembering certain things? Just like riding a bicycle. Now this is part of a pilot program at the Kenwood. It is on the memory floor, but others in the uh, living facility can use it. It was developed in Sweden to help adults with Alzheimer's and dementia. Paula?